to defend this up-tempo offense. As we saw today, you guys were having to, you know, make a play call in like 10 seconds and, you know, just go from one play to the next in a quick succession. Just what was that like? Uh, what what has that been like over spring practice? Yeah, it's just, it's just really made us just grow up, uh, you know, learn how to communicate with each other, um, learn how to focus on our responsibilities and just knowing what to do as a as an overall unit. Um, going against offense like that fast, you don't have room for error. So everybody has to be on their P's and Q's and, and know what to do at all times. So I, I feel like we've taken a major step in that and, you know, looking forward into fall camp. Uh, we just, you know, continue to, to work on that and continue to communicate and just get better in every aspect that we can. Jimmy Himes and Ben McKee. Jalen, talk a little bit about this scheme on defense. Do you think this scheme will allow the secondary to play better than it did a year ago? Um. Well, football is football at the end of the day. Um, you know, the players have to make plays and do, you know, the coach can only give us so many calls, but it is really on the players. But re uh, regarding this scheme, I feel like this scheme allows us to just play fast and, you know, just trust our ability and our, and our technique, so. Jalen, just what do you think is the, the next step for this group going into the summer as you build for fall camp? And did you all as a group mess with uh, Danico any for, for managing to get ejected for targeting in a spring game? Uh, as far as the stuff we need to work on, we're going to go and, and evaluate the spring game, um, look at the stuff we didn't do, do so well, look at the stuff that we did do well, and um, continue to put our heads down and work as one unit. Um, we, we, didn't, we didn't tease Danico. Uh, for that, we should have, you know, because that's that's just how the game goes nowadays. Um, but now nah, we didn't we didn't get a young guy too much for it. Patrick Brown and Vince Ferrar. Hey, Jalen. Obviously, you know, Warren Burrell had the, the big play day with the pick six. Have you been seeing a lot of plays made from him this spring? And kind of how how has he come along? Uh, Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Warren. Warren's been uh, very consistent. He's he's been very consistent and uh, making plays and just trusting his technique. Um, so yeah, and then it just all paid off for him today with with the with the pick six. So that's just what happens when when you you know you repping in practice over and over and over again, and when when the lights come on, you know it's second nature. Jalen, who are some of those secondary guys that you think have had really good spring practices so far? Uh, I, I, me personally, I feel like the whole secondary has had a good spring. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody's like grown and matured. You know, you could look back to spring practice number one to the spring game and just you could go and look at everybody and how they've matured. And, you know, we've just trusted Coach Banks and Coach Martinez and the message they've been pre uh, preaching to us. And, you know, we, we just fell in love with the process and we're going to continue to work and fall in love with the process even more. What receivers on the other side have given you guys the the most issues? Do you think have been tough tough covers? <laughs> oh well, me being a DB, you know, I'm kind of biased. I don't feel like any of them have given us any issues. Nah, that's just a joke. But um, our receiving core, we have a good receiving core uh, all around. I can't really necessarily pinpoint one receiver because they're all um, different and they all have their strengths. So they they've all been working. They've all been uh, making plays left and right. So. Credit to uh, those guys pushing us and getting us better throughout the spring. Last question, Gustavo. Jalen, in terms of the atmosphere, how you felt, you know, getting back playing a game in Inland Stadium with the fans, you know, wrapping up the spring practice. How was your feeling, you know, being the game, you know, the atmosphere with the fans? Oh yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing like like kneeling and you know, you just put the best fan base in the world. Uh, in there and it's just it's always electric when you step in there um in between the checkerboards you know it's just it gives us juice uh we love it so i'm really excited you know to see 102 if if that's what it comes down to in in Neyland in the fall so thanks Jalen, for your time thank y'all